Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing really well. So today is the long awaited makeup tutorial for you. A little get ready with me. I'm just gonna show you literally how I do my everyday makeup. So simple, I don't really use tons of products, I don't think, but I love to just look natural, glowy, sun-kissed, and that is it. So I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into it. Let's start with skincare. I always think prepping your skin makes your makeup look so much glowier and it just i find my makeup sits so much better when i actually prep my skin properly so i'm starting off with this sunday riley eye cream i really like this i find it really cooling under my eyes and i really like this applicator it's just really simple and easy to use Next, I'm gonna use my moisturizer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm nearly out of this. I absolutely love it. I always just find that this gives my skin like the nicest dewy finish and oh, I just absolutely love this. Okay, next is SPF. Always gotta be wearing an SPF. I've used so many different ones recently and the one that I usually use is from SkinCeuticals, but I'm gonna try out this new one from Typology. It's SPF 50 and it also has aloe vera in it. I haven't used this before, so let's give this a go. You actually do need to use quite a lot of sun cream on your face for it actually to work. Um, and you gotta protect your skin, so I always just put loads on and then just spend a while rubbing this in okay let's answer some questions thank you so much for sending in your questions over on instagram um i've had some quite interesting ones so i'm just going to jump straight into it the first one i'm going to answer is so lovely someone said how are you i adore you you're so down to earth and you deserve everything that is literally the nicest message ever and on that note i just want to say a huge thank you to all the amazing messages i've been getting recently just you guys are just amazing on instagram and you're so lovely and it always just makes my day but i am really good thank you i think the last year has been quite turbulent to say the least um i haven't really spoken about it much over on socials or anything but my personal life has been quite intense so um yes i'm quite glad to nearly be out the other side and i just feel so much happier and lighter um it's been when you go through something really difficult in your personal life i think it's so hard to then focus on work and social life and being online and being present when your mind isn't okay um but yes i do feel like i'm finally coming out the other side and i'm really looking forward to the second half of this year i've got so many things to look forward to so yes to answer your question i am feeling really good thank you next i'm gonna go in with my skin tint i always use the rose ink skin tint i have this in the shade dirty and i absolutely love this and i apply it with my rose ink brush this combo is just amazing but recently which is why i think my skin is looking extra glowy recently i've been adding in this really lovely skin enhancer it's called the tint and glow skin enhancer with spf 30 it's from a brand called sculpted by amy Connolly, and they kindly sent this over and i've been mixing these two together on the back of my hand oh my god it's such a lovely combination so let me show you so i put a couple of drops of my rose ink serum and if i'm doing a more like natural makeup i'll just use this with concealer and that's it but this is kind of my daily makeup that i've been doing recently and then i just do a really small bit of the oh it's dripping of the um amy Connolly skin tint next to it and then i mix it with this brush and then i literally just apply all the products roughly to my face and then i'll go and blend it in Have you always been an influencer, content creator? I love your content, by the way. Thank you so much. I guess I kind of have. I think, so I started posting my outfits on Instagram when I was probably like 15, I think, when I was at school and college and I used to post outfits and um, if I was going out to parties and things like that, me and the girls would always get pictures of our outfits 
and kind of shoot content before we went out which is so weird because I didn't even know the concept of that and then when I was at college I just kind of carried on doing it but I actually started a blog and that gave me more of a purpose to shoot content so I would actually start doing more kind of like outfit changes when I was out with Jack at the weekends um, and taking pictures of my outfits at college and doing a lot of mirror selfies and things like that And then it's kind of just escalated from there I did actually start being an influencer content creator and earning money while I was at uni It was in my final year of uni that I actually kind of started so that was probably three years ago I think so not that long quite recent Although it does feel like it's been ages because so much has changed since then. But I absolutely love it. I love creating content with brands and having my own kind of like little circle of the internet. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I have such like a creative passion for the aesthetic of my feed and like how my content looks and how it's delivered and the narrative behind it all. And the kind of emotive feeling that you guys get from my content. Loads of you always say that my content is really calming and you always feel really relaxed when you watch my videos, which I love because that is always my aim. I like to create things that can kind of just like transport you away from your everyday life and you can just be involved in something and you might leave feeling inspired or refreshed. Hopefully it will be a positive emotion that you leave feeling and that is always my aim. Okay, so I've applied the skin tint. This is how it's looking, just so natural. It just blends so nicely. If I've got a really long day and I want my makeup to stay all day and not budge, I always use this Hourglass Primer. It's incredible and it's the only primer I've used that actually keeps my makeup on. It's the Airbrush Primer, but I'm not gonna use it today because I'm only gonna have this makeup on for half the day, so I don't really need it. So the next step of my skin is kind of just like building up the color and the coverage a little bit. So I use the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I love this, I use the shade Ivory. And I literally just put a couple of little swipes of this around my face, like so. And then I take this Morphe brush. Um, I've got absolutely no idea what this brush is because it's all rubbed off. But I just literally blend this in, kind of in like circular motions. And just like buff it into my skin so it looks really seamless. Have you always loved interiors? I love your flat. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I have. From the age of probably like, I want to say 12, I started moving my bedroom around. And I don't know if anyone else has done this or can relate. But my mum must have got so annoyed with me. I was a nightmare. I would move my room around probably like once a week. I once had my bed in the middle of the room on a rug and I had like all my furniture around it. Honestly, so weird. But when, you, when you've got a creative brain and like now I'm older, I look back and think, ah, that's why you did that. But I was just so desperate to have my own house or like my own space. And I've kind of grown up around quite a lot of like renovation so my mum and dad bought my house and we moved in when i was about four years old and they bought it as a big project so it was kind of like a project throughout my whole life and they renovated it completely and it looks like a different house so i grew up living in like a building site and always having a lot going on at home so I think I've just always loved it, I don't know. I'm just adding some NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, just under my eyes and like around um, the skin a little bit. And then I just blend that in with the same brush. Okay, I'm now gonna add a little bit of color to my face. So I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This is the Clinique, I don't know what this is called actually. The Clinique True Bronzer Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade number two, Sunkissed. And I absolutely love this. Um, it's just such like a subtle bronze, but it's not shimmery. I hate shimmery bronzers. I'm just using like a big fluffy brush just to dust this around my face. You can already see like it looks like I've just been in the sun and I just apply it to the areas of my face where the sun would kind of like tan. What is your five year plan? So I always like to have a relative plan of kind of year by year and I think it's nice to have a loose five-year plan um but the next five years of mine and jack's life is kind of a very big five years 
Um, I'm 24, I will be 25 next year. Jack's gonna be 26 at the end of this year. So it's kind of like quite a big stage in our life. So quite a lot should happen in the next five years. I would like to move into a house, hopefully um, a renovation project. I think that is the route we'd like to go down. Getting engaged, getting married, starting to build a family, hopefully. I also would love to get a dog. So yeah, there's quite a lot of things in the next five years. And then obviously on top of like personal stuff, I would like to do so much with my brand and my business, especially with Monday and possibly venturing into something else, which is quite exciting. Um, nothing is in the works yet. Just a few thoughts I've been having about kind of where I want to take my brand in the future, which is quite exciting. So yeah, the next five years are gonna be pretty busy, I think. Will you and Jack get married? Oh my God, 100%. Um, we talk about weddings and marriage and stuff like that all the time. And I know that it's just, it's inevitable. It is going to happen. All of our friends and family know it. We've been together for seven years this year. So it's been a really long time, but I'm not in any rush. I know some people say to me like, oh my God, you've been together seven years, like a ring this year. And I'm like, no, we're just not at that stage yet. I am such a control freak and I like to do things in order. I, I have lists every day. I just, I like to work chronologically throughout my life. Um, and Jack is very much the same. He is quite traditional. His family are quite traditional. So yes, I would like to have a nice house that we can start working on and then hopefully get engaged. But it's up to Jack. That depends on when Jack wants to do it and whenever it happens. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on some blush. I absolutely love this. I'm using this pinky color here. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush Duo. And this is the shade number three, Peach Poison. This is honestly such a beautiful color and it just blends into the skin so nicely. What I really love about this blush as well is even though it's a powder, it doesn't look cakey over kind of cream products. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I always put a little bit on my nose just to blend that in. Let's do another question. Realistic outlook working for yourself, creating a stable income and career tips, please. Wow, this is a big question. Okay, um, I would say working for yourself is never easy. And I always knew that I wanted to go down the route of having my own business or my own brand or whatever it was because my parents both had their own companies. And funnily enough, Jack's parents both have their own companies as well. So I've always been around self-employed people and I just always knew that that was where I wanted to kind of take my life, but I never really knew how or where or what that would be. Um, I'm just gonna do some brow gel. This is the Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade number four. Working for yourself can be very lonely and it can also be very stressful because you have so much more to worry about. You're not just turning up to work and having a great time with your colleagues and working really hard and then going home and switching off you are constantly thinking about it all the time. And even if you give yourself a day off or it's the weekend, you're still thinking about it. Um, I do feel quite guilty if I am somewhere that's really beautiful or I really love my outfit or I'm doing something. I think, oh, I should be vlogging this or I should be shooting a reel or I should be creating content about this. But often it's when I'm doing things with my family and you need to have that separation. In terms of creating a stable income and career, I think in terms of the financial side, you have to make sure that you're not living above your means. And I mean that in the sense of living kind of paycheck to paycheck and never having any spare money in case things go wrong or spending all your money on things and materialistic things and then having none left at the end of the month. Um, or not being able to pay your bills because you bought a new handbag. Twice yearly, I will do my expenses and I will figure out kind of what my income has been for those few months. Obviously in this job, your income changes every single month. Some months are really busy. Some months aren't so busy when brands have spent their budgets and they're not looking for any content or they haven't got any campaigns running. By the way, I just applied the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk as my highlight. So I think it's really good to sit down and look at your 
income your outcome what are you earning what are you spending what do you need to spend your money on so for example your rent your bills your food things that you actually need to spend money on your car your travel your petrol you know things like that and then look at what you're spending that maybe you don't need to just being aware of your financial situation and i do think if you are looking to start your own business or you want to work for yourself i would say make sure that you have savings or you have like a pot of money or you're in a situation where if you are struggling to build the business or you're not really earning anything for the beginning it doesn't matter you don't stress about it i used to give myself the rule that if i can buy it three times i can afford it and now i've actually changed that to if i can buy it five times i can afford it that is how i kind of like manage my money and like finance situation so yes, I hope that has helped. I don't know if I've actually given you any good advice there, but my DMs are always open. So if there's anything you ever want to know more of, do let me know. And I can always do a part two as well. Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes now. I'm just gonna curl them with these um, lash curlers from Anna Sui. My lashes are curled. I'm now going to use mascara. I'm using this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara and this is the best mascara i think i've ever used it is so good my eyelashes are really straight and i do get lvl to make them a little bit more curled and i always use the lash curler but this is incredible okay let's do a few more questions before i finish off so um there's a few about my hair what do you get done to your hair it's amazing i love your hair color i'm guessing it's natural so um my hair color is natural but i've been on such a journey with my hair i used to have i'll put some pictures on the screen actually so you can see i used to have the most amazing hair when i was younger pretty much when i first met jack so like yeah six seven years ago i hadn't touched my hair i'd never dyed it i never got it cut had it trimmed and that was it and my hair was such a lovely color it was so long it was so thick it was amazing and i always got asked if i had extensions it was just so incredible and then i decided that i wanted to go lighter so we started getting balayage and unfortunately that was probably the biggest mistake ever although i loved my hair color and i was so happy with it i just got way too much done to it in a short space of time and i really didn't need to it annoys me when i look back because all the hairdressers that did my hair should have said to me like you don't need this balayage again your hair is still blonde and it was just getting blonder and blonder and blonder and then i decided that i wanted long hair so i got some extensions put in but unfortunately because my hair was so damaged it didn't look damaged and it didn't feel damaged it was so soft and my hair's always been quite good quality because i look after it really well but it was breaking off and it wasn't growing so it was just so short and my hair, hadn't, I hadn't even had it cut to that length. It was just breaking off. So I had some extensions put in and I don't think that helped my hair at all. Because my hair was already so weak, um, the extensions being put at the root were just, it just wasn't a good idea. But anyway, even though it wasn't a great idea in hindsight, I loved it. And that was only a couple of years ago. So recently I decided I wanted to get my hair back to its natural state, back to full health, and I'm kind of on that journey now. It's gonna take a while. So I got my hair taken back to brown and I had to have a toner put on it because I kind of just wanted to wait for the balayage to grow out. And I mean, it has grown out so much. Like if you look at my hair here, you can see the ends are like a little bit lighter than the top, but yeah, it's really growing out. And I was still using the toner for um a good few months literally up until recently but i've been finding that the toner is really warm on my hair so it's making it look maybe not in this light but often when i'm in sunlight it makes my look my hair look really orangey and oh, i just find it so annoying so i'm not using the toner anymore i'm just trying to get my hair back to its normal natural color and if there's a little bit of blonde in it fine um, but I have got a few extensions in the front although my hair has grown so much more than it was a few years ago The back of my hair especially has got so much longer and thicker The fronts are still a little bit fine and that is mainly because I had some extensions put in and they feathered um, My hair down and cut my actual hair and it takes so long to grow the front of your hair so um, I just had literally I think I've got like 10 really tiny extensions 
on each side at the front of my hair. Here's one of the strands. Um, amazing colour match. You can't even tell I've got them. Unless I've got my hair up like this and then you can see the little bonds. Um, but yeah, I love it. It gives me confidence. It makes my hair thicker. And I just really enjoy it. So until my hair is back to its full thickness and lovely and, lo and long again, I will keep my extensions. But my aim is to just have it completely natural. No extensions. Natural thickness. Probably like a similar length. I probably wouldn't go much longer than this. But yeah, that is where my hair is at at the minute. Okay, moving on to my final step, which is my lips. I've got quite a few random different products that I use. So I thought I would just talk you through them all. So um, I always use this Dior Lip Glow Lip Balm. I use this at the beginning of my skincare. And then I always use the same two lip liners and I just alternate between them depending on my mood. Um, MAC Spice is my go-to lip liner. I always wear this. It's more of like a darker pinky color. But I also love NYX London Suede Matte Lip Lip Liner. And this is more of a brownie color. They're both gorgeous, but spice is usually my go-to and then at the minute i haven't been using lipstick i've just been using gloss so these two i'm obsessed with dior hyaluronic lip plumper the lip maximizer in the shade 121 is incredible this makes your lips so plump and glossy and just gorgeous but recently i have absolutely been loving this it's from mns beauty's brand autograph and it's a color shine lip lacquer in the shade nude and it's so gorgeous. This is so affordable as well. So I really recommend getting this. Let me, this is really blunt. Probably should have sharpened this. So I always overline my lips a little bit. Speaking of lips, somebody said, not really a big question, but where did you get your lips done? Look so good. So I get my lips done at Viva Skin Clinic. I actually haven't had them done for months. I actually would quite like to go for a little top up. Okay, so there is my lip liner. It's a really nice kind of nudey red. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply the Autograph Lip Lacquer. I absolutely love this colour. It's so gorgeous. I also love using um, like an old mascara brush. I clean the wand. And then I use it as like a little spoolie for my brows. Okay, and finally, to finish my makeup, I'm going to use this Fixing Mist, which I've been using loads recently. It's from a brand called Paul & Joe. It smells absolutely incredible. It smells like holiday. And I've literally used half this bottle, and I've only had it for like a few weeks. Oh, it smells so nice. And this just kind of brings all that glow into my skin. And yeah, that is my finished makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And that's answered a few of your questions because I can't believe how many of you are asking about my makeup. I'm no beauty guru at all. And I do the same makeup every single day. So this combination, minus the few new products that I've mentioned, I literally use all the time and I just stick with it because I love it. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, as always, I will link everything down below, all the products and the shades and things like that in case you want to shop anything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, at Lauren Grace Life. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.